Even if you don't meet the eye of a hurricane, tropical storm force winds are nothing to mess around with. This is what Corpus Christi felt during Hurricane Harvey. Sustained winds from 39 to 73 miles per hour, gusts to over 100. You wanna be careful of flying debris and downed power lines. At 74 miles per hour, you're dealing with the category one, like Portland felt during Hurricane Harvey. Well-constructed homes could see damage to roof and vinyl siding. Extensive tree damage poses an additional risk to your home and your car. Your screen enclosure could come tumbling down and the power grid could see major disruptions. Storm surge is also possible, turning streets into rivers. At 96 miles per hour, you have a cat too, similar to what Ingleside experienced during Harvey. When the wind gets this intense, cosmetic damage is the least of your worries. Falling trees and flying debris become deadly threats to you and your home. Tree branches become projectiles. Windows or a door can blow out, allowing the winds to rush inside and blow the roof right off. Major storm surge is also possible, enough to put some coastal bend towns under water. At 111 miles per hour, you have a major category three hurricane, like when Celia hit the coastal bend. Mobile homes don't stand a chance and older homes with damaged roofs could collapse. Even newer construction is now at risk, especially vinyl siding, doors, and roofs. 130 miles per hour marks a category four hurricane. This is what Rockport Fulton experienced in the most intense part of Hurricane Harvey. Doors blown open and smashed windows can lead to even new homes failing. Power poles will be uprooted, snapped, or downed. Even if your home survives the wind, deadly storm surge can leave it uninhabitable. Not only will there be no water or power, you may not have access to the area for a while. And if a storm produces sustained winds of 157 miles per hour, it becomes a category five. Catastrophic damage is guaranteed with total destruction in some areas. The area is likely to be uninhabitable for months. The good news is that the eye of the hurricane packing the most powerful winds is usually localized. But the bad news is that in a major hurricane, even if you dodge the eye, damaging winds can extend hundreds of miles in all directions.